This isn't a misprint. This is the new Speedy B F405 V3 flight controller and ESC stack for $70. I don't know how they're doing it, but this is just as feature rich as the F7 version of the V3 flight controller and stack, but for almost half the price. Now there's a few differences between the two, so let's get into those and then put it to the test and see if she's performing well under a black box analysis. So as of the recording of this video, this flight controller and stack is available for pre-order on, directly on Speedy B's website. And then stay tuned to the end where we're gonna talk about a giveaway we're giving on the channel to get this stack. Now running down through some of the sales sheet information, it is an amazing offering. Most of the features that are in the F7 V3 version, which is the most feature rich flight controller I've ever seen, are in this flight controller as well. There's a few differences. Uh, you don't get onboard flash, 500 megs of onboard flash. You get an SD card reader. So, hey, that's an easy compromise. You don't get an F7 board, you get an F405 chip, which is plenty of speed to run the BMI 270 gyro. And actually it has some more storage capacity than the F7 chips as well. So, you know, you could almost say it, it's actually a little bit better than the F7 chip. Uh, recognizing that we're not trying to run that super fast gyro rate and that that's not all that important. Of course, it has all the features you can see here, which includes LED support, eight motor outputs, a barometer, two BECs, you have a five volt and a nine volt, four UARTs, a DJI connector and a connector to the ESC. So those are the only two connectors on it. The rest are solder on joints is the DJI connection is a plug-in and then the ESC connection is a plug-in as well. Obviously it's gonna work and connect with the SpeedyB app and has the onboard Wi-Fi. We are looking at a 50 amp ESC. Now that's not BL Heli 32, it's gonna be BL Heli S or Blue Jay firmware. Honestly, they're, I don't really see a difference between the two anymore. So you can run all the features on BL Heli S ESCs nowadays that you can on BL Heli 32. So it's pretty much equivalent in my book. Both boards have the LED indicators for battery level, which may be useful to some folks, like if you're using uh, with an air fitment with an airplane or something of that nature. Of course, this does support Betaflight, iNav, and Emu Flight. As mentioned earlier, it has the expandable to the eight motor outputs, which is really helpful for our Cine Lifter friends. And a difference here that we will show, because I'm gonna show the uh, F7 version and this 405 version, is that your LED connectors here are, you gotta solder them up, they're not plug and play. Both boards come with a sizable 1500 microfarad capacitor, and they both have the TVS diode on there, so any surges you get, those will get dumped off to ground and not uh, impact your gyro and or burn up your flight controller. As always, the barometer is a nice touch for altitude, and in some countries, from what I understand, it's required. And then also having the full support for a full GPS unit, if you're partnering with iNav, that has a magnetometer. So you have that SDA, SCL connectors there, as you can see over here, to wire that up. Of course, there's good wiring diagrams here, so you can see what you're doing and how to wire things up. And as with the F7 V3 version, we are rocking the BMI 270 gyro, which I'm liking more and more every time I run it. Finally, as always with Speedy B, you get a plethora of stuff in the box. You can see the flight controller, the ESC, uh, just all the little nubbins and connectors that you need there with nice silicone wiring. So they don't cheat you out on any of that stuff. So with that said, let's check out the product itself and just do a visual side-by-side -side comparison with the F7 V3 version versus the new F405 version that we have here. So it's just a little thing, but I always appreciate the nice packaging they have with this, and you can see uh, what you get here. And then this flight controller, you're not gonna get it with the solder joints on it. I put it back in here. I did do the flight testing, which we'll talk about here in a second. So this is how it's gonna be presented to you. So nice packaging, which is always nice. And then you can get your ESC here, uh, which you can see right there. And then also your flight controller, uh, which you can see here as well, like we talked about. Here is your SD card slot and then your two connectors. This is the DJI, this goes to the ESC, and then everything else is solder on, uh, as you can see here. And then you can, obviously we have the USB-C, which is nice, and then these nice long gummies here uh, to give you some spacing between that and the ESC. Finally, in the bottom of the box is all your peripheral connectors, so you just pull that little thing out. And then you can see them stacked all in there. So it's nice, some extra gummies here as well. And so then three screws. And then, well, as I talked about before, here is your connector. 
that you can plug in from your ESC to the flight controller and then your DJI connector there as well. Now lining these up beside of each other, on the left here we have the F7 version, the V3 F7 version of the flight controller. This is about $120, $125 for this set. And this here on the right is the F405 version of the flight controller and then the ESC. This is a BL Heli 32 ESC, this is a BL Heli S ESC, and again, they both have the same gyro, uh, F7 MCU on this uh, processor basically, and this is an F7 processor. So this will have a little bit more speed to the processor, not double or anything, but it has a little bit more processor speed, but actually less onboard storage, and that will have an impact on the longevity for being able to store code for firmware, iNav or Betaflight. So basically the longevity of it. Still great flight controller, my favorite flight controller for feature rich. But honestly, this, yeah, this is $70 and it has more storage, so it's gonna have a longer lifespan. An F4 flight controller is not as fast as the F7, but honestly, at the gyro rate that we need to run the BMI 270, we don't need, you know, this F405 has all the speed that we need for that 3.2 megahertz uh, cycle time, which is 3000 samples per second, which is plenty of samples per second. And I guess I really should have them flip this way. This is the same uh, orientation then for the ESCs and then flipping over the ESCs, both of them, and then the flight controllers as well, you can see the, the exact orientation here. So the big difference is, you know, you can see on the F7 version, we have this massive 500 meg onboard flash, where here you get an SD card, and then you don't get all the connectors here. This is all these plug and play connectors. So you get uh, the LEDs and you, you get the DJI, and of course the ESC header, which you do get over on the F405 version, but then there's other plugs here as well. Uh, for other UART connectors, uh, your GPS units, things of that nature. Now, if you're new to using micro SD cards for black box, it is a great option. Many good flight controllers have this as their primary option because, I mean, you have gobs and gobs of storage, up to four gigs, you can just black box log all day long on here. Basically, you just set it and forget it, and then your logs are always on there. Uh, if you ever wanted to go back, had some kind of weird scenario or problem, you can always just pull them off. One thing you do need to know is that you do, for any SD card you're using for logging, you have to have a semi-decent SD card. I will make a link down below for a post I did on recommended SD cards. Uh, you should check out for this. And then SpeedyB does have an offering uh, with this flight controller for a great SD card that they've tested and assure me that it works. And I think it was only like four bucks or something like that for the card. So good price on that as well. Uh, check that out. If you are doing a pre-order on this, you might want to pick up that card at the exact same time. Now, of course, with any flight controller, what I want to know is, yeah, 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 it's all good and it's done. Did you run an actual flight test with it? And is it work well for electrical noise and things of that nature? So I loaded this flight controller up onto my Source One build here, which we do know puts off some electrical noise because if we put on a flight controller that doesn't have enough capacitance in it, that electrical noise will get to the gyro and cause some weird funky stuff with one or the other axis. So loaded this up on this and you can see I just took it out here for this video and uh, let's see what we got for the results. And I am happy to report that it's fine. It's awesome, so it's great. Uh, if you see here, the what you wanna do is load it up, logged it, so this is a 3.2 kilohertz sampling rate you can see down here below, uh, the F405 board, and you can see that my D term between the pitch and roll access, that when we're looking at UAV tech trace template zero here, the noise plots, that our D term between the roll and the pitch are about the same amount of noise level between the two. So you can see the vibrations uh, between the red here and then the cyan. There's not like one axis has a ton of vibrations versus the other, they're about equivalent. And then the other thing is when we do flips and rolls here, you can see I'm doing a SERP roll here that I don't see a ton of electrical noise showing up on my pitch axis or vice versa if I do some flips, same thing. So I scrubbed this whole thing and uh, yeah, we're in good shape. So it was great to see that uh, even with that reduced price point, we're not compromising on capacitance or some sort of thing in the design that uh, is a red herring. So that will do it for my review of the new SpeedyB F405 V3 flight controller and stack. Oh yeah, the giveaway. So if you're interested in entering into the giveaway, please give a like on this video and drop a comment down below of what you think about this new flight controller stack. And I will do that drawing next week, which will be September 17th. So come back for that. 
I'll be announcing the winner and then Speedy B will send the, I'll have to collect your information, then Speedy B will send the product directly to you. So three folks will win. Get your entries down below. Thanks everybody. I hope this helped. And I hope you're as excited as I am about this new stack. I was really surprised most flight controllers themselves are $90 and then you're getting this stack, 50 amp rated ESC uh, flight controller. It doesn't really seem to make any compromises to me. And for the price point, yeah, inflation. What inflation? We're back to where we need to be. Thanks everybody. I hope this helps.